For as long as I can remember, I've always tried to see the good in people. I don't know, I thought those skins were pretty bad. Yeah, they're not that great. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. You wanna start the chemo work after? All right. And what makes matters worse is I had just discovered that my best friend wasn't the person that I thought he was. Hey Chris, your phone's ringing. It seems like my entire life has been ruined by drugs, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. Who is your dealer? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't take no drugs. Then what are these? I... Tell me who it is! Are you even listening to me? What? Oh, sorry, I was just texting someone. Okay. What were you saying? I'm done with the story. So, what do you need me to do? You'd be like my partner, alright? You'd be scoping out places beforehand. Tell me where to go. Things like that. Okay. Why me? I barely even know you. I haven't been in the same class as you since third grade. Look, I know that you leaked the calculus final last semester, and I could really use someone with that skill set. What's in it for me? I heard that your mom is in rehab. And this would be your way of making sure that doesn't happen to anyone again. I'm in. Do you have a place to work yet? Because I have an idea. I can work with this. This is what you were wearing before? Yeah, is something wrong with it? I have a much better idea. I know a guy. The suit's done. Follow me. The suit's made out of carbon fiber plates. Should protect you against punches and kicks. The gloves, they have lead inserts. They'll break some bones. What's this? Ah, oh, that's a monkey's fist. This thing's compact, deadly, has a metal ball inside. It'll break some people. Thanks. That looks badass. It's hella hot. Sorry, I asked them to prioritize protection. It'll have to work. Anyways, you never told me what happened between you and Chris. What do you mean? Like, did you ever confront him? So there's been something I've been meaning to ask you about. You remember a couple days ago when you were at my house? Yeah. Well, when I went to get your phone, I found some weird things in your bag that I've been meaning to ask you about. It's not what it looks like, I promise. What is it then? It's just sugar. Okay, you and I both know that's not sugar. Since when did you become a junkie? They're not mine, I'm just holding them for a friend. I want to believe you, but why are you even hanging out with those kinds of people? Look, I don't need you to lecture me on what I'm doing with my life. Chris, I'm... I'm just looking out for you. Thanks, but I can watch my own back. And after that, that's it. Oh jeez, I'm sorry about that. I just hope that one day we can reconnect. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Cohen. There was an accident at the intersection of Hodges and Creston. A driver under the influence of an experimental drug T-boned your son. I'm afraid your son's not coming home. Did you catch the driver? 
He was killed on impact as well. I'm sorry for your loss. I got here as fast as I could. What's new? Well, I managed to track down the druggie you were chasing earlier. How? Well, I set up a stingray that pretended to be a cell tower, meaning I effectively have access to all of his incoming and outgoing calls and texts. I don't know what that means. But isn't that, like, illegal? Like, worse than leaking test answers? And running around on some sort of anti-drug crusade, isn't it? I guess so. Anyways, I found a text on his phone that references a meetup tonight at Cal High. Could give us a lead on who's behind all this. All right, let's do this. Hey, be careful. We don't know what these guys are like. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. You got the drugs? Of course. You got the money? Yeah, just a heads up though. There was some guy in a hood. He came after me looking for you. Did you tell him anything? Of course not. You're not getting away with this! Oh shoot, that's him. Your supplier! I'm not gonna tell you anything. Alright then, have it your way! What are you doing? Are you insane? You brought him here? Give me the duct tape. Now time's over! Where am I? You're in an isolated bunker 50 feet underground off the grid. No one knows that you're here. Do you think he's actually gonna believe that? Isn't that a garage door? Shh. I'm gonna ask you again. Who is your supplier? I work alone. You and I both know that's BS. I do. This is Lunar, a signature drug only dealt by the Apollo. I want you to tell me who you get your supply from. I'm not saying nothing. All right then. I'm going to ask you again, who is your supplier? Fine, I'll tell you. It's Arthur Fist. Thanks for the info. I took care of the dealer. What'd you find out? So, our dealer told us that his supplier was Arthur Fist. So, I checked it out. Turns out he was telling the truth. Arthur Fist dropped out of San Joaquin Delta College about three years ago, which coincides almost exactly with the release of Lunar on the Streets. Now, about a year later, the Apollo had absorbed almost every cartel in the area, and Lunar was the most popular drug on the market. I also found this. When were you going to tell me about this? What? There's nothing to tell. Drugs practically killed your brother, and you're telling me this has nothing to do with why you became a vigilante? So what if it does? I signed on to this to make a difference, not to participate in some vengeance trip. But we are making a difference. So what if I find the guy who's responsible for my brother's death? And when you do find him, if you have the chance, are you gonna kill him? I'm gonna... I'm going to put him in a grave. And I'm gonna make sure he never gets up. So that the four years of pain he put me through will be worth it. That's not justice, that's just revenge. But it's what he deserves. <sighs> I refuse to believe that. Lucas, I can't stop you from doing this, but I can't just stand by and let you hurt yourself. Then what am I supposed to do? I have a lead that I can follow up on. Just hang tight until then. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no problem. I still owe you for helping me on the calc final last semester, so... Nah, no problem, but I'm past that life. <laughs>
So where's Fist's next meeting going to be? There's going to be a party at his house tomorrow night, but it's just a front for a dealer meeting. What's the address? 555 Shibuya Lane. Thanks. There's something you need to know. Apparently Arthur Fist is holding a party at his house tonight. It's a front for the Apollo's next meeting. What am I supposed to do? Just walk in there? Comes working? I hear you loud and clear, buddy. Alright, what do I do now? The meeting should be happening separate from the party, possibly upstairs. There's a guard at the top of the stairs. The duo took down yesterday. He just went upstairs. He put on some kind of mask. Glad you could all make it. There's someone after you. A hooded figure. He knows you're the supplier. Stop walking like a cripple and sit down. Get up. I told them who you were. I'm sorry. Don't be. We'll just have to teach you a little lesson. What are you doing? Put your mask back on. Why are you doing this? This masked dude isn't going to be stopped by torturing him. I didn't start this business to work with a bunch of whiners, like you. Well, I didn't sign up to work with a coward that can't deal with his own problems. Come, sit. You know, I heard about what you said about me, and you're right. I should start dealing with my own problems. Starting with this one. Is there any other way to get up there? I'm gonna check around the house. I better not see this vigilante interfering with our deals ever again. Do what you have to do. I'm too late. The meeting's over. They're coming down the stairs. Don't just stand there. Do something. Don't move! Everybody, get out! Lucas? I'm getting out of here. Hey, what happened out there? Chris is one of the dealers. He's been one the whole time. I can't believe you lied to me. 
Hey, those are the notes for my Spanish quiz. I'm just so angry. I. I guess you could say you're Arthur pissed. Too soon? Yeah. No, man, I get it. I just can't believe he would do that to me. Hey, listen to me. We're gonna get this guy, I promise. Here. I swiped his phone after the fight. Maybe you can figure out where I need to go next. I'll see you tomorrow. You look like Christian Bale in The Machinist. What? I just meant that you look tired. I know, I didn't sleep well. Any news on Arthur Fist? Not yet, but I know where he's gonna be tonight. Where? Chris's text mentioned a storage unit, and there's only one lot in all of San Bruga. Where is it? It's at the corner of Hodges and Creston. You know where that is, right? Too well. Arthur Fist! I figured you wouldn't leave me alone. I recently got a tip that I should start dealing with my own problems. And you're next! I can see you have a lot of problems! Problems? People are lining up to buy this stuff. I turned this city into a slave, and I'm its master! Who knew a single investment into an experimental drug would lead to such profit? It wasn't perfect at first. As I recall, the first person I sold it to got into a car crash, not far from here. A driver, a driver under the under influence of an experimental, experimental drug, drug T-boned your son. son. It's at the corner, corner of Hodges and Creston. Creston. Hodges and Creston. Creston. I'm going I'm to going put him in a him interview. interview. And I'm going to make sure he never he gets never up. Gets You're responsible for my brother's death! And now, I'm going to kill you! Family's life, like you ruined mine, but that doesn't mean you don't deserve this. Nine one one, what's the nature of your emergency? Arthur Fist is at the storage unit between Hodges and Creston. Come and get him. What do you want? I came here to apologize. For what? For lying to you. All I ever tried to do was protect you. And I don't think we could be that close again if I can't trust you. Look, if I had told you what I was doing, you would have never let me do it. So why'd you do it in the first place? My mom got sick, we don't have health insurance, we needed the money. So you don't care how your choices affect other people's lives? Family comes first, I thought you'd understand that. Beating up drug dealers won't bring back your brother. Dealing the drugs that killed my brother won't save your mom. Chris! Lucas, I helped you stop the man who was responsible for your brother's death, but now I'm done. Thanks for helping me find a way to use my skills for good, but I'm afraid that I can't be here any longer. I know you mean well, but you can't be trusted to take the law into your own hands, and frankly none of us can. I can't stop you, but if you continue down this path, I just hope you don't lose who you are in the process. P.S. Get out of my garage.
like worse than we see. <laughs> 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 Set! Wait, my jaw hurts from me starting. Wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this isn't gonna stop some mass dude from. Mass dude. Torturing him. Yo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Beating up drug dealers won't bring back your brother. Well, dealing the drugs isn't gonna save my brother. What? Save my brother? Save my brother? What? I, 